Coates return here. Just a quick video on this lovely Sunday. Smoking a, a Ben Wade pipe, this time a, a Garrick, but bent. What I do love is the size of these pipes. They've really got a nice large bowl, you know, with this nice brass clasp. You remember I've got the straight one, but the, uh, the bowl itself is, is sizable, so you get a good amount of tobacco in there. Like I said, they're not expensive. Um, so that's the second one I've got of this type, but I just think they're so e elegant with the white stem. This time, they sent me a hat. That's nice. Always handy, isn't it? Well, I thought I'd mention as the uh, giveaway request for videos has gone so well, uh, I got a lot more, a lot faster than I thought. I think I will do the draw a bit earlier because we've already got quite a good response, um, a very good response, and uh, I thought I'd do it, uh, end it on the, the 9th, so it's going to be Sunday, February 9th, to end it and then do the draw on the Monday and I'll do a video for that. I think that'll be enough time, so everyone's still got uh, more than two weeks sort of, uh, or roughly two weeks ahead uh, to get one in if they want, you know. But very pleased with the uh, interesting <laughs> responses that we're getting back on that one. That's great fun. So, sort of trying to prepare, you know, I was searching around for a tobacco that has something to do with, you know, space or the stars or uh, there's nothing really about uh, Star Trek and nobody has done a blend there. And I talked to one or two people and it says it's very difficult to do a new blend these days for, for the regulatory work you have to do to get a new blend set so you know they're probably not going to risk it not knowing how many pipe smokers are trekkies and whatever anyway anyway i looked and looked and looked and i came up with this stardust from uh, watch city cigar company in framlingham massachusetts and i ordered some so when the day comes, this will be my suggestion for what Kirk would smoke, you know, it would going to of course be an American tobacco. Um, and Stardust at least has some reference to, you know, the stars. It would be nice if somebody would do a Federation blend you know, or, a, you know, an Enterprise blend or something like that. Although I, I suppose you could make it up yourself, one way or another. One or two little trinkets that I have added. This is rather nice. A pipe stand in pewter. Nice and heavy, so it won't sort of get knocked over. I've got a couple of those plastic deck chair type uh, pipe stands to take when I travel. That makes a lot of sense because they're very light, but they're, they're, they're rather sort of um, light to, to knock over, you know, if the table shakes or whatever. But at home, I think this is rather nice, you know. And uh, an amazing thing, I actually found something that's not so expensive in Europe because always in America you get such good prices on everything, tobacco, lighters, tampers, whatever. But um, smokingpipes.eu offers one of these sort of art deco bamboo 
tampers, but the ones, very nice ones with the holes at the bottom and everything. Two euro eighty. Finally, you know, we get some. I know Codger's got one. Artful Codger's got one very much like this, but very, very inexpensive. So of course I had to get one. You know, added to my collection. Have to relight for my trusty Peterson. Talking of collections, I should add this to my housekeeping, my watch. This is a, um, let's put it the right way around, Leiko watch. You can see that. And Germany has, um, I think, Stober and Leiko, they did the Luftwaffe watches. So this is basically a pilot's watch. Very simple, there's no date on it, but it's an automatic with a glass back. Uh, really nice, not too expensive. The Stober ones are a bit more, and they've got a date, and uh, they're probably a little bit more well known. But uh, in the night, if you're sort of waking up and thinking, God, you know, is it two o'clock or is it four o'clock? The loom on this really holds its brightness during the night so you could wake up at any time and see very clearly the dial that would be as a pilot's watch so that's rather nice I thought one time I'd show you my watch collection I've got about 20 and uh, it might be a slightly longer video to talk about them or maybe I do it in two parts I don't know but I've got quite a diverse collection. I was just showing some friends, I had a dinner party last night and I was showing some friends these different ones. And of course, living here in Switzerland, you, you've got a few Swiss ones, but a good Swiss watch tends to start at a, like a thousand bucks, you know, beautifully made and designed, etc. But it's, it's quite a lot. And I want uh, a choice of watches and realize they don't have to cost that much. There's some very good automatic watches um, from different places in the world which, uh, which are high quality, attractive, and they maybe cost, um, you know, 100 or 200 or 300 francs, you know. I mean, they won't be as cheap as the quartz cheap watches, but uh, you know, you don't have to spend a fortune to get an interesting watch and uh, there's all a bit of history about them, uh, you know, a few are from Russia, a few are from uh, Japan, um, a few are for, from China or Hong Kong, um, one or two from America, uh, so, you know, there, there are good alternatives out there. Um, as much as I admire and do have several Swiss watches. So I will um, plan to do a video on that one. Well, this Stardust is um, pretty good, I think. It, it's 2.7 in tobacco reviews. So it, you know, it had two people who gave it three stars and one guy gave it two. So, you know, not many reviews about it. Maybe I should post a review there. Burley, Virginia, Cavendish sort of mixture. But it's, it's nice, it's subtle, 
the sweetness very very clearly there but it's not um, overpowering I think there's a little ladder key in the background you can just pick up a little bit of complementary smokiness there around the edges it's uh, I think it's a very good blend you know you could it's I suppose an aromatic with the sweetness but you could almost look at it like a crossover I think Kirk would approve <laughs> My next um, pistol video, I've been uh, thinking about it, and as a, I'm going to meet uh, in a few weeks with Jean Panzer, on the 24th of February, go down to Lucerne, but he requested that I uh, consider a revolver uh, video, because I'm basically doing automatics so far. I've only got two in my collection, a nice Smith & Wesson and uh, just recently a, a Ruger, the LCR, that sort of small, small handy um, eight round Ruger. So I'll do those two. And I'll probably shoot them from more like 15 meters to 20 meters. They are amazingly accurate because they're fixed barrel even if they're short barrel for um, uh, comparing to some of the automatics. So anyway, that video will be coming up. And the music today is music for reading from my playlist if you like it. It's a bit of a mix of um, a lot of light piano, all classical, very good. If you can see that bird over there, that's uh, a red Milan. They're actually quite rare but around this region, there's a lot of them, but in Europe generally, quite hard to find. Just flying over there, beautiful, graceful. They normally would have sort of gone away um, in the winter, but it's at the moment really been uh, in the daytime quite mild. Anyway, not to ramble on too long, um, just remember that my drawing for my giveaway will be then um, on the 9th of February, a little bit earlier. Um, at least the close of it will be on the 9th of February, Sunday at midnight, and I will do the video drawing on the Monday the 10th. Okie doke. You all take care. Have a, a great coming week. Take care. Bye-bye.